imagine a time where you could just walk into a store, shelves were full, and you can buy whatever you needed? Yeah. I mean, if you ran out of toothpaste, you could buy some toothpaste. Try this. Baking soda and peppermint oil does the trick. Thanks. That's what I don't understand about this whole economic breakdown thing. We have this huge toothpaste shortage, yet you can buy peppermint oil. If you know the right people. How do you spell a uh, polymerase? P-O-L-Y-M-E-R-A-S-C. Except it's pronounced polymerase with a Z like an enzyme, which is what it is. Responsible for the duplication of the DNA molecule by allowing the oligonucleotide primers to bind to the separated molecular strands. You're such a goofball. What are you working on? I got a gig, temping for this Japanese doctor who's in town giving a paper. Gene resequencing, manipulation of RNA nucleotides. Don't ask me what any of it means, I don't know. I'm getting paid. Excellent. Actually, it's kind of dope. This doc, his name is Tanaka, took this crack baby born three months premature. The kid had the IQ of broccoli. Doc goes to work on him. Six years later, he's a boy genius. You want a kiwi pie? So they fixed him by fussing with his genes after he was born. Can I take a look at this? As long as you don't make me late for the conference. Watch the cover. They put you up here during the conference? Not a chance. Too bad. I was hoping we can score some towels. If I get invited to shower with anyone, I'll see what I can do. Anybody home? here or something? Actually, one of my faculties that's still intact, I was just thinking. Oh. You have that Logan I need a favor look on your face. Don't I always? I mean, isn't that the only reason why I come around? There's a conference at the Steinlitz Hotel. A scientist, Dr. Tanaka, is presenting a paper on genetic research. Yeah, I think I, um, heard something about that. I want to check it out. You have my blessing. It's one of those things where you can't just walk in off the streets. You gotta have credentials. I'll see what I can do. Why do you want to go anyway? I read this guy's paper. Claims he can cure what ails you by moving your genes around. You think he can help you with your seizures? Worth looking into. You know, you ought to come down there with me. Dr. Tanaka talks about how by using the body's genetic blueprints, it can re-engineer itself. I mean, if the man's on the level, you'd be walking around in no time. You know what, Max? I'm having a hard enough time dealing with the here and now. You want to go listen to whatever pie in the sky Dr. Fielder's hustling? Be my guest. Just leave me out of it, okay? 
Okay, I was just... Just don't. I'll call you if I can spring the conference thing. How's our boys' weekend? I'm good. I'm good. Speak for yourself. Original Cindy had a tragic Saturday night. Finally got to kick it with my lickety boot, okay? Percent? Check it. We have a couple of beers, shoot some pool. Sister girl drops, she go both ways. Yeah, so aren't all women basically bisexual? You're an idiot. I can live with bisexual. It ain't perfect, but at least she halfway there. But then, Sugar tells me that she has this big old love affair with one of the other lickety chicks, which ended badly, so her heart is broken. So now, she is celibate. Well, what's the point of being bisexual if you're celibate? Thank you. So now they two broken hearts. Yes, boy, but it's all good. It is not all good. All good would be her and me chilling. It unfolds according to the will of the Most High, not just your desire, my sister. Whatever. But you might want to try and get me really drunk. <coughs> I'm going to have to take the afternoon off. Medical emergency. <coughs> yeah, all right. I'm clammy and achy with chills. I got a fever. I'm burning up. Fill my forehead. No, thank you. I'm gonna knock on your doctor. <coughs> Can I use your phone? Please. Just don't breathe on it. Hey. Affirmative on those press credentials. You are Rachel Glasser from Biotech Frontiers magazine. I'll leave them with bling if I'm not here. Thanks. Sorry for getting pissy before. No big deal, Ian. Rachel Glasser, Dr. Tanaka. Nice to meet you. Biotech Frontiers. Uh, sumi mase. Excuse me. How do you do? I'm curious. You know how when you try to resequence nucleotides, you always end up with one stray entron? Have you ever considered using plasmids to transfect the new base pair vectors directly into the codon sequence? So that that won't happen. I mean, one bad intron can mess up everything. Interesting. I never considered that. Please excuse me. Perhaps we can talk more later? Yeah, I would like that. Here. You don't know me. My name's Rachel Glasser. I'm a journalist. Don't ask me how I got here. Your rich boyfriend, that's obvious. He's not my boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. That's how this isn't exactly your crowd. Shall we? This is Jude Thatcher at birth. 
He weighed just three and a half pounds. He needed oxygen because his lungs were underdeveloped. He had no swallowing reflex, so had to be fed intravenously. He was addicted to crack cocaine. His mother, incarcerated for drug abuse and prostitution, could not afford the most basic health care. Jude was heading for an early and unlamented grave until our foundation stepped in and took over the health management of the child. We began an intensive course of surgical, pharmacological, and genetic intervention. The results were incredible. This is Jude at two years, six months. This is Jude at four years. And this is Jude today. Living proof that there are no limits to what the human body can achieve with the right training and environment. Konnichiwa. Boko no namewa. Judo des. Estamos con dragos en dale la bienvenida a la conferencia. We hope you find the proceedings informative and enlightening. Hello, Dr. Tanaka. Konnichiwa, Jusan. Why don't you play something for us? And Manic or Lenica used to tell us the same thing. There are no limits. The mind can conceive, the body can achieve with the right training. still get shot and killed like Eva, starve to death, or even drown. I've often wondered why we didn't just turn on him. We were stronger, faster, any one of us could have snapped his neck before he knew it hit him. But we were too scared. And he knew it. What is this he doing? Dr. Tanaka's barely scratched the surface. Tars and I had gotten our story already. Excuse me? I said, you're not leaving. You couldn't possibly have gotten your story. No. It is amazing, isn't it? Think that we can fix nature's mistakes? Yeah. Donald, my decker. Rachel Glasser. Biotech Frontiers. I can't say that I've heard of that. It's new. I'll have to check it out. Nice to meet you. Excuse me.
It's Rachel. I told you. Right. Are you okay? Yeah. Why? Is that guy hitting on you? What? Gotta watch out for the older ones. Less testosterone, more charm. It's still all about banging the gong. Bailey? <laughs> Not a chance. Is this your area of specialty? Genetics? Uh, I've done some work in the field. Really? The children. Gifted children. How gratifying. I guide them as best I can. But mostly I provide a framework in which they can flourish. Must be a challenge. Oh, it is. You know, it's always the highly intelligent ones who most lack discipline. Maybe they figure they're smart enough to think for themselves. Ah, they're still children. They don't always act in their own best interests. What do you think of this so far, the conference? It's hard not to be impressed. Tanaka's recumbent technology is groundbreaking. That's why I'm here. The children I work with, their genetic anomalies make them gifted. And they also make them flawed. Have we met before? I don't think so. You seem awfully familiar. I get that a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the Thank you. Thank you so much. Jute is an extraordinary boy, a singular creation, whose very life is the culmination of decades of genetic research. Jute is also a messenger, bringing good news to each and every one of us. How, you ask? You, sir, will you please stand? Me? Yes. I see you wear glasses. Yes. How long have you worn them? A few years. It was fine until I was about 43. Next thing you know, I couldn't live without them. Do you know why that is? Well, I'm no ophthalmologist, but I think it has to do with the hardening of the crystalline lens, which doesn't contract the way it used to. That's right. Now, what if I told you that what you refer to was already written in the genetic code? And that if I snipped here, grafted here, and used some of your own RNA to seal the graft, you could throw away your glasses? You would be my hero. Thank you. You may sit down. This same technique also allows us to treat and cure far more distressing conditions such as congenital blindness, deafness, even severe neurological conditions such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, epilepsy. All these can be remedied by manipulation of the genetic code. A minor rewriting Go! Go! Everybody stay calm. We only make 20 second movement. What are you doing? Take this. Hide it. No. They won't. 
won't search you. You trust me. No. You're not gonna hurt the boy. Let him go! No! Ah. and seal the stairwells. No one gets on or off the floor. Everyone on the floor. Now, do it. Hey, we're running inside. What's wrong with everything? No respect. What you eat now? Tomato with endive and watercress. No, I'll go by. I don't see any tomato, endive, or watercress. Where is he going to find any of that stuff, even if he could afford it? We interrupt this broadcast to bring you breaking news. This is the scene at the Skyless Hotel, where a heavily armed group identified as the outlawed May 22nd movement stormed a scientific conference being held there. Police arrived moments ago and are attempting to defeat Too much negativity in the world, man. Which is believed to involve an Which is why Ja want us to hold a higher vision of things. Like the both of you, your feast here. <laughs> Look, Herbal, it's one thing for me and Sketchy to play pretend gourmet because we broke. But that bitch for real. <sighs> it's the very same thing, you know. I know him that it's all good all the time. Right, right, right. Somebody gonna get their ass blown off, but that's all good. All the time. I love you like the brother, my brother. But that is just whack. Hi, do the words bit, bit, bit mean anything to you people? The May 22nd movement takes its name from the birthday of terrorist Theodore Kaczynski, known as the Unabomber who for three decades in the late 20th century waged a violent campaign against the technocratic Logan. state. The group was formed in the wake of the see this. which movement founder John Darius praised as a call to arms against modern technology. John Darius. The movement has claimed Where's responsibility for several back? terrorist actions, including blowing up a biotesting laboratory, television relay stations, and we are now receiving unconfirmed reports that more than Who a dozen this? hostages are being held. We will remain live. It's hotel. That's where Max is. We don't want to hurt anyone. Cooperate and you'll be all right. All we want is to free the boy. Free him? From what? From you and your future. You've turned him into a poster child for your morally bankrupt techno state. What are you going to do with him? Give him a home. A family where he can look like a real human being. Grow up to spout slogans and shoot people. This boy is my family. He's your lab rat. Police calling to negotiate. This is John Darius. We're May 22nd. We're armed, and we are holding 35 hostages. Detective Sutton, Seattle PD. Did you try anything? To make him anyone near this building? The hostages will die. We got that? I understand. We want transport and safe passage for ourselves and the child known as Jean. If you don't meet our demands, we'll kill one hostage every hour. Well, what you're asking for, we're going to need more than an hour. First hour is already up. Terrence?
59 minutes. Then another one goes after. Don't even try telling me that it's all good. All the time. No, that is evil. Straight up. Yes, it's evil. Wait, wait. So if it's all good all the time, and you acknowledge that what just happened is evil, aren't you sort of saying evil is good? Yes. No, you understand. You have to forgive evil. All right? But love in spite of evil. You need to put down the split because it is clouding your mind. Now, I'm gonna have to more or less agree with original Cindy on this one, Irvin. And I ain't no stranger to stoner logic. The guy looked pretty damn dead. Matt, Detective Sump. Stay back. We gotta talk. He's okay. A friend of mine was at this conference. If you folks got out when all this started, what's the name? Glasser, Rachel Glasser. Still unaccounted for. I'm sorry. Who's running the show here? The military's taking over. The guy behind May 22nd, Darius? I know him. Maybe I can help. Forty-five minutes. Are they just gonna wait until they kill someone else? Give me the gun. Carefully. several times for a story I was doing a few years back, and he's no clown. He's very serious and obviously very dangerous. Well, if you'd have turned him into the time, you'd have saved everyone a lot of trouble. Well, I'm a journalist, not a policeman. Now, like a journalist, you're in the way. I need an ETA on those sharpshooters. Hour away, sir. What the hell's taking so long? Let me talk to him. You have no involvement in this matter, Mr. Gale. And you have no credibility with a man who's holding a group of innocent people. As a soldier, you represent everything he despises. And as a soldier, I intend to do my job. I might be able to get him to listen to reason. You can't have reason with terrorists. I can offer him a way to get his message out there. He kills a man, you want to give him a bigger audience? You and I both want the same thing, to free those hostages. How can you kill a person an hour? I never agreed to that. It's crazy. Are you questioning me? Yes. You better be calling to say our transport is ready. Mr. Darius, this is Logan Kale. Logan Kale? It's been a while. How'd you get drafted into this? Oh, uh, that's not important. What is important is the safety of your hostages. And you have 33 minutes, so there's gonna be one less to worry about. You should be aware, Mr. Darius. This isn't a police operation anymore. The military's involved, and from... What I can tell, they're very anxious to do their thing. Well, it doesn't surprise me. They've been hunting us down like animals for the last 10 years. Then you know they're just waiting for any excuse to come in, guns blazing, and take you out. If they do, 
They'll have a lot of dead hostages on their hands. As long as they get you, I don't think they care. Nothing like a good massacre to stir up public opinion against these butchers. People need to know what they've done to this country, the human race, the entire planet. What century are you living in, Darius? Nobody's ever going to hear about this. The authorities have turned your martyrdom into a non-event. It'll be history that never happened. Is that what you want? Because it doesn't need to be that way. If you can guarantee the hostage's safety, I can help you get your message out. Um, I have contacts who'd be willing to tell your story, and no one would be able to stop it. On that, you have my word. But first, I need you to release the hostages. <laughs> no way. They'd storm the building in a second, and you know it. Why not show the world you really are more compassionate than your enemy? Release the women and the child. I'll give it some thought. Nice try, but it's not gonna work. We'll see. You okay? I'm thirsty. Come on. Let's go see if the Willis have some. Go with me. He's a good little soldier. He's a scared kid. Fear accomplishes nothing. I hope he learns that now if he hasn't already. Is that what you teach those kids of yours? To shake it off and move on like nothing happened? You look like you were around in the days before the pulse. Parents brought you over to visit your little friends. Car pulls to soccer games, art schools. Do you really think, Miss Glasser, that your childhood prepared you for the life that you have to live now? My childhood wasn't quite like that. No way. Pulse. Some positive aspects. Toughen the world. Strengthen the species. Pretty grim view of things. Not grim. Realistic. We can't pretend the world runs on love. Survival of the fittest. <laughs> It's a strange word coming from a man with your take on things. Anachronistic language. I wish I could speak digitally. Point is, it'd be a shame to see Tanaka's work go to waste. I'd like to observe the boy for my own research. Maybe you should do something with that gun before someone else gets killed. It's tactically premature. Things are going to get worse before they get better. Get me KO. Logan KO. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I go in as a good faith gesture, he releases the women. What about the other hostages? He wants transport to a civilian airstrip before he talks about handing them over. He's not getting that, no way. Okay, one step at a time. Let me go in there, talk to him face to face. Uh, you need to be clear on two things. We don't have to honor any deals you make, and I'm not guaranteeing you safety. I'm not asking you to. We're fighting for humanity. We're making a gesture of humanity. The women are free to go. 
You'll be escorted to the lobby. Any games, you'll be shot. We're taking him with us. No, we're not. Then I must stay with him. I don't think so. Accident? Or just didn't know where I was wrong? Something like that. You'd think you would have learned your lesson. You'd think. Oh, my ankle! Keep moving. Take care of it. I think I twisted it. Pretty sure I was softening myself in the face of the ladies. Old fashioned. Also a little crazy. Getting myself mixed up in this. Everybody gets a shot, take it. Aerial units, jump off position. Wait my command. What the hell? Kendra! Well, it looks like she's okay. Hold it, miss. Is inside there. That's bad. That's very bad. I guess it's all good goes out the window when someone you know and love is in trouble. This is still a dangerous area. Please get into the truck as quickly as possible. going on? They killed some of my people. They tried to land soldiers on the roof. Their word means nothing. Neither does your life. Take them away. Thank you. 
here. I was going to ask you the same question. I went through a lot of trouble to get you released. What were you thinking? You're exchanging yourself for us. You should be thanking me. Thanking you? You could still be on the roof of those morons if it wasn't, wasn't for me. me. Forget it. Never mind. I Just should go, go save, save the, the kid. kid. Full breach. Full breach. We go in as soon as all squads are in position. Wait for my command. And maybe we should give Darius something to buy more time. He's out of time. What about the hostages? They're expendable. We're gonna show these idiots who's in charge. What do you mean he got away? He's in a wheelchair, for God's sakes. Check it out. Looking for me? of this country, this individual is entitled to due process. Do you want him showing up for arraignment looking like this? No, sir. You want the judgment of your commander, the credibility of your military undermined by your reckless behavior? No, sir. Neither do I. <laughs> Problem solved. One of the hostages is a young boy about seven years old. Have you seen him? No, sir. Unaccounted for, sir. Thanks, man. You better get the kid out of here. Thanks for sticking your neck out on this map. This way at least won't end up in an orphanage. Or in Lydeck 
Tiger's hands. Take care of my boy. He'll be okay. We're supposed to be free to go. I just kept my head down and let the men fight it out. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. All the time. All the time. Yourself. Ordering myself a new wheelchair. Looking for one with the jet thrusters. <laughs> Thanks for bailing the gals out of there today. Myself included. Right back at you. Taking a header off that building was above and beyond the call. Just looking out for my meal ticket. How many guys can cook and save the world? So. That was Lidecker. Yep. My own private antichrist. Up close and personal. Shorter than I imagined. Do we have any idea why he was there? Same as me. Looking for answers. He said all of us, his gifted children, were... Plot. Seizures? I got the sense he was talking about something even worse. He saved his life. And here I thought I was special. He was about to take a bullet in the head. All I had to do was stand there, do nothing. And I could cross Donald Lydecker off my list of things to worry about. You didn't exploit tactical advantage over your enemy? He'd be so disappointed if he knew. How sick is that? But for some reason, I couldn't let it happen. I have no idea why. Life good, murder bad? I'm not that high-minded. Lattaker's the one guy that knows what's going on in this freak show body of mine. Whether or not this barcode has an expiration date. And I guess I couldn't let him die with that secret. Whatever you have to tell yourself. Fact is, you saved a man's life. That man. Still a good thing. I'm not so sure. But you know what really bums my ass out? I had a chance to swipe some towels from the hotel, and I totally spaced it. Next time. Yeah. 